she was like, Mom, you can't wear a mask. North Carolina artist Meg Smither is stitching together a helpful combination. Masks that slow the spread of coronavirus, but make it possible to read lips. My daughter is deaf, and even though she has a cochlear implant, um, somebody behind a mask, it's really hard for her. She reads lips way more than any of us realize. And so I said, well, okay, I'll make them mask with windows. That window helps people who are deaf or hard of hearing communicate. She adapted a pattern she found online. And it works great. And obviously I've got way more interest than I even realized. So much so that a triad business is having a hard time keeping them stocked. We sold out of Meg's within, I would say 24 hours after we posted it. Catherine and Saber Hashimi own Just Be in downtown Greensboro. They say Meg's masks are helping them meet a need in the city's deaf community. Face masks of all kinds have been a hot item at the shop. Some days it's like one fourth of our sales. Saber even started sewing his own. He's made more than 1,100. It was a little bit hard on us the beginning, but then we got used to it now. It's hard to stop it because people <laughs> coming to the store and they're looking for them. And more people are looking for Meg's masks too. She sent out about 350 and is working on more to supply the growing demand, including the one here in the triad.